Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today we're comparing two Pucky Puppy e-bikes. To my left, we have the Boxer ST, and to my right, we have the Beagle Step Over. Both of these e-bikes are very similar, but also have some pretty big differences as well. Hopefully this video helps get you a little bit closer to your next buying decision, so let's get into it. Currently on the Pucky Puppy website, the Boxer is going for $1,399.99. The Beagle is going to be a couple hundred dollars cheaper at $1,199.99. The Boxer comes in five color options and the Beagle comes in four color options. Both bikes have a camo option and it looks like for that color option you're going to spend an extra hundred dollars. The recommended rider height for the Boxer is going to be 5'3 to 6'4. And the recommended rider height for the Beagle is going to be 5'4 to 6'6. Both of these bikes are going to have a 7-speed Shimano thumb shifter. Both are constructed with 661 aluminum alloy. Both bikes are going to have a control pad to the left side and a thumb throttle to the right side. They both have the same ergonomic comfort grips that lock to the inside with a flat spot to rest your palm. Both have kickstands to the rear of the bike, which is nice so the pedals don't interfere with it when you're backing the bike up. So another big difference on these two bikes is the suspension. The Beagle doesn't have any suspension to the center of the bike, but the Boxer does. You're going to have this hot 320 shock, and uh, it's going to make the ride much more comfortable when you're hitting those hard bumps. Both have the same pedals and a single-sided chain guard, so that stays the same on both. Both are going to have identical control pads with a light and a horn. The same integrated adjustable front headlight with reflector. Both bikes are going to have the same saddle and I'm actually happy for that because this is probably one of the most comfortable saddles I've ever sat on. You won't have to work too hard on either of these bikes when you're pedaling because they both have a cadence sensor. So I feel like Pucky Puppy considers their Boxer a little bit more of an off-road kind of e-bike and that's why it doesn't come with fenders or a rear rack. However, on the Beagle, you're going to get plastic fenders front and rear and included is a back rack. Something else you're going to get on the Beagle that you're not going to get on the Boxer is an integrated tail light that's also a brake light. And the brake light's going to work whether your tail light is on or off. So what are some of the advantages of getting the Boxer? I like the fact that it had hydraulic disc brakes and that center suspension makes a big difference when you're riding. So something else that stands out on these two e-bikes that you can do is you can go into the advanced settings and unlock the throttle only speed so that you can go 28 miles per hour throttle only. I created a YouTube Shorts video. You can check that out here if you're interested in taking a look at how that's done. So both of these bikes have a battery that's going to be nested to the bottom of the down tube. The Boxer is going to come with a bigger battery at 48 volt 20 amp hours versus 48 volt 15 amp hours on the Beagle. But both are going to have the same 48 volt 2 amp hour charger. Both bikes are going to have the same 750 watt hub motor with a peak output of 960 watts. The max capacity on the Boxer is gonna be a little bit lighter at 350 pounds, opposed to 400 pounds on the Beagle. And I'm guessing that's just because you have a step over version here that's gonna have a little bit more of a rigid frame. Both bikes are gonna have the same 26 by four inch tires with a rugged off-road thread. Both are gonna have the same color display and there's a ton of options packed into it when you go into the settings. So one of the biggest differences on these two bikes is gonna be the brakes. On the Beagle, you're gonna have mechanical disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. And on the Boxer, you're gonna have Logan hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. On our 20 mile per hour brake test for the Boxer, we were able to stop in two and three quarters of a parking space. And on the Beagle, we stopped in three and a half parking spaces. When we did our 25 mile per hour test, we were able to stop the Boxer in three and a half parking spaces, and the Beagle stopped in five and a half parking spaces. So uh, there's going to be your difference when you're looking at mechanical versus hydraulic disc brakes, and that's a pretty big difference on these two bikes. The Beagle and the Boxer both have Shimano tourney derailers and neither one has a derailleur guard. Both bikes are gonna have suspension to the front that are gonna have preload adjustment, 
and lockout. Okay, that's gonna wrap this one up. And if you ask me, both of these bikes are really nice bikes. It's just gonna come down to what's important to you. Is it all about price? Is it about options? If you're selecting the Boxer, it's most likely because it has center suspension and hydraulic disc brakes. I mean, hydraulic brakes are important on a bike that goes 30 miles per hour. But this bike is also $200 more than the Beagle. This is $1,399.99 versus $1,199.99 for the Beagle. But you get a couple options with the Beagle that you don't get on the Boxer. You get a rear rack, you get fenders, you even get a tail light. So uh, at the end of the day, hopefully this video gets you a little bit closer to your next buying decision. And if it is one of these two bikes, there'll be links in the description for you to purchase your own. So like always, ride safe, have fun. See ya.